Oh, good evening, guys. How's it? How's it going? Come on, MP Fat Boy. That's MP Fat Boy. I don't know if you've ever seen MP before because he's usually too lazy to do anything. But because the missus is in here, he's decided to join me, checking on the animals this evening, and making sure everyone's getting ready for bed as they should do. Uh, right today, what I did was I went and collected some horse poo. I'll put a quick clip in here. I dug the garlic bed, which I thought I filmed. I planted garlic, which I thought I filmed. And I didn't. For some reason, I must not have hit record or something and I didn't record. So what I'll do is I'll flip you around quickly and I will show you where I've planted some garlic today. So I don't know how good the sound is, but as you can see from there, all along to there, I've planted some garlic. I'm gonna have to extend obviously a bit more um, because I've got a load of garlic left over and I ran out of horse poo. So I've got to go collect some more to mix into the garden. Believe it or not, it looks a lot better than person than it does on camera for some reason. It is getting a bit dark, maybe that's why. But yeah, so I planted the garlic today. Um, Impy, come on. <laughs> He's so lazy. I planted the garlic today. Uh, one of our little hens has started laying eggs. One of the, the this year's hatchlings, she started laying eggs. So I found a nice small egg today. I'll stick a clip in there as well. And today's just basically been a bugger up, really. A complete balls up when it came to filming anything. I've tried to go out and get rose hips as well today, but unfortunately we can't drive our car and I wasn't willing to walk too far. So I had to come back before I could get any rose hips. So I'll be doing that tomorrow as our car should be sorted by then. Um, yeah, so what we're gonna do now is I'll take you inside. I don't know if you saw last week's video. Um, I actually collected all Kaleas and Prick's eggs and there was 19, excuse me, 19 of them collected. Come on girl, you gotta get out of here and go to bed. Come on, out you go. Come on. We got one hen. Yeah. I'll leave her for now. Uh, there was 19 eggs and then Kalia laid one more. So I picked up the next one the following morning, which brought us to 20 eggs. And um, they're all in the incubator now. I might actually have a quick look to make sure she hasn't laid any more today. I think she's out there. No, no more. And yeah, we'll go candle them and see if any are fertile. I'm hoping there are some that are fertile, but I'm also sort of hoping there aren't because me and Prick have a very love-hate relationship, especially today. He's been so noisy. He's been a right pain in the, I'm not gonna say. And yeah, so right, I'll turn you off quickly. We'll go inside. Go on dogs. Are you coming in and be? And then, um, yeah, I'll turn you back on and we'll candle some eggs. See how many we've got fertile, if any. Just wanna wash my hands first. See you now. Right, so we're seven days in guys. There's the eggs. You might notice I snuck a chicken egg in there. Don't tell the missus. Because um, I want to see what hatches out when they crossbreed with the black cockerel. So what I'll do now is I'll set you up on a tripod. I'll turn the lights off. And we'll candle them and see if any are actually fertile. So yeah, let's do that. Okay guys, I know it's pretty dark and it's going to be a bit of a mission. But I'm not, I won't hold, like candle all of them. I'll tell you the end results once we're done. Alright, let's get that focused in. And there you have it, we got some veins. <laughs> Prick is gonna be a dad, maybe. Holy smokes, first egg. I'm trying to get it as good as I can on you. There you go, I don't know if you can see it. That is amazing, I love this. This is the best part for me with everything. You see, you can even see it's little eye or it's little heart, sorry, it's little heart there. Right where my thumb is. We have a Little goose in there. Holy smokes. Let's do another one just to double check this isn't beginner's luck. Sorry for the dark again. Let's grab another one. Come on, Prick. Let's see if Prick's... Uh... Mm, this one's not looking very good. That looks empty, completely empty. Uh, yeah, that's empty. There's nothing in that one. So maybe we did hit beginner's luck. That's just the yolk. You would see veins like you saw on the other one. There's literally no veins in there. There's no red dot. There's nothing. The air cell is very small. I don't know if you can see it. That cap there, that's air. That's very small and there's no life in there. So we'll leave that one out. Let's check in one more. 
Dann roll off. Ah. <coughs> Let's see. Oh, it's not looking good. That's another empty one. <laughs> so maybe it was just beginner's luck. That's another empty one. Although it did look like it started to develop and then just gave up. So what we'll do... <coughs> Whoops. Let's do one more. Alright, we're not looking very good at all. That one looks empty as well. Hmm. Alright, so that's three out of four that are empty. Let's try. Nope, empty. <coughs> empty, empty, empty. Four. So four out of five. Aha, there we go. We got one more with the baby in. See the you can see the veins. I don't want to be too rough. See the veins and everything on there. We got one more. There's the baby there where my finger is. The embryo. Alright, let's try one more. Just sit the Uh-huh. We got hmm. This one looks like it's stopped developing as well. I'm gonna leave it in. Um doesn't look very good. You can see the embryo there by my finger again, but uh, I don't know, it doesn't have as many veins as the other ones did. But we'll put them back in, give it a chance. Everything deserves a little chance. Let's check one more. Sorry guys, this is uh Oh yep, yeah, there we got another one. That's got baby in definitely. So Prick might be a, a dad in a few weeks. Oh, there's another baby in there, that one. So we're looking okay. I mean, we've got a few that aren't great, but there's another baby in that one. I think that might be the same one, actually. But yeah. Right, we'll check one last one. We'll check this dirty one that I didn't hold very high hopes for. <laughs> and it's proved me wrong. It's got a, a nice little embryo in there. Lots of veins. And yes, yeah, looking okay. But the old saying goes, don't count your chickens. In this case, don't count your geese before they hatch. And I'm definitely not going to because geese are a bit tricky to um, hatch out. There's another one there. So we're looking better. Um, it could just be those ones that I've taken out already weren't. Uh, that's another empty one. Yeah, def that's definitely empty. You can see there's no embryo. It's just pretty much clear. It's like a light bulb. That's empty. One more. One more. Just, just out of curiosity. Yep, that's another one with a baby in. It's the lower thumb. Just see it. Right, so I'll candle these again on day 14 and uh, yeah, let's turn the light back on. Right, so excuse the bad light. Um, got these horrible light bulbs in here. The light's not great. But yeah, as you can see, I didn't, I wasn't holding out very high hopes for these eggs as it is. Uh, the incubator's working well as it always does. Um, the humidity, I've got a, it's on automatic humidity. Uh, from tomorrow, I'll have to start opening for a few minutes a day to start spraying because tomorrow's day eight and We'll go from there really. I'm still not holding very high hopes for any babies um, Unfortunately because I think what happened was I left the, the eggs too long outside I wanted to give Kaylee a chance to incubate her own eggs and unfortunately it doesn't look like it's ish, but, well it didn't look like she was going to. So I thought I'd give them the best chance I could in the incubator. And while they are starting to develop, I've done geese eggs last year. Um, and was it last year or the year before? It was last year when Kalia was born um, last winter. So the same sort of time as, no, flip an egg. Is she two already? She might be two actually. But yeah, I, did, I hatched Kalia and her brother, Gooey. Who passed on in the incubator as well and they were two out of I think about 12 eggs as well there was a, a lot of eggs uh, geese I do struggle with geese um, 
in general hatching them that's why i wanted kaylia to do it on her own but you know such as life i've had to jump in and try to do it myself it looks a lot lighter out there than it actually is it's pretty dark now i've got to go lock up the chickens and everything and put them to bed for the night and yeah that's it guys sorry for the short video unfortunately filming didn't go to plan today but i will Put out a video tomorrow i've got some stuff planned for tomorrow that i'll take you along with and yeah if you haven't done so yet please hit the subscribe button and the likes and do all that jazz you guys are awesome as usual and i will see you tomorrow peace